Uh, welcome to Berlin, where I have Outre with me. First of all, guys, can you tell me something about a band called Outre? Outre is a black metal band from uh, Krakow, Poland. Uh, we started in 2012. Uh, we recorded a few demos. Uh, we got a debut LP on our account called Ghost Chance. Uh, right now we are on tour with uh, Ulcerate. And uh, after the tour we're gonna start to work on, work, uh, on the new material uh, that is supposed to be released uh, in 2018 via Debemur Morty production. Uh, you were supposed to play in Berlin tonight, but something happened. Can you elaborate uh, what happened tonight? <laughs> we can only laugh, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a <coughs> pretty controversial situation because the venue promoter, uh, the venue owner, and the promoter, I suppose, uh, shut us down because the uh, because of the accusations that we are somehow related to the uh, NSBM scene and uh, actually we don't know how to we don't know what to say about that because uh, this is uh, obvious bullshit for us because the uh, relating someone with the uh, labels or uh, bands that has some uh, ties to the other labels who are supposed to have relations with uh, NSBM bands you know, it's uh, it speaks for itself, yeah. So Ultra never had and never will any connections with uh, any political uh, scenes or any political movements, whatever it is, left right, left uh, or alt right. We just don't fucking care about that. So uh, if someone wants to shut us down because uh, uh, don't like that we are related to to someone, that's up to him. It's just a bullshit. Okay, uh, enough about that. I guess the uh, band was founded in 2012 as a solo project. How would you describe the band's journey so far? Oh, the band journey. Uh, it was pretty quick but very intense. <laughs> we started from... Uh, uh, actually, it was always a black metal band but uh, with uh, many faces. Uh, the first demos were kind of a slower and uh, with a uh, more atmosphere in the music. Uh, right now, the even the Ghost Chants and uh, the upcoming album are uh, much more heavier, darker, with a uh, very gloomy and dense atmosphere. So uh, uh, I think the people who will reach our albums and will start to listen to our music from the first demo to the uh, even the upcoming split that is about to be released by Third Eye Temple and Bluton Azen uh, will see. Uh, and we'll, maybe mostly they will hear the road uh, uh, that we went through uh, for all these years. Uh, you released your debut album Ghost Chance in 2015. Uh, when can we expect new album and what kind of uh, musical direction can we hear from that album? Actually, the new album is ready. Uh, we've got the music ready. Uh, I'm uh, right now uh, writing the lyrics for the new album. Uh, we entered the studio in 2018 in January. Uh, so we're supposed to have that done uh, by the end of March. Uh, actually, that the plan is. Uh, so uh, I really hope that uh, the album will be out in June 2018. But uh, this is only our plan for now. Uh, maybe it will be released in autumn because we also need to agree that, that the dates with uh, our label. Uh, so uh, it's definitely be going uh, be uh, released in uh, 2018. Uh, we hope in the first half of this year. Uh, let me say only that it's, it's a natural mm, continuation of Ghost Chance. So it's like extending what has been done on. And goes chance into a few new levels. I guess it's just monumental. That's the word that comes to my mind when I when I listen to it. And speaking about your music, uh, from where do you draw inspiration for your music? From everywhere. <laughs> Actually, yeah, maybe Matthew will speak about that something. I don't like people. 
Okay, uh, speaking about the genre, uh, what does black metal mean to you guys? Not liking people, yeah? Yeah. Can we say so? I guess, yeah. <laughs> what does the black metal mean to us? Uh, for us, it's uh, freedom of speech, freedom of opinion, freedom of uh, whatever I can do is only my way and I don't, uh, I don't want to uh, interrupt with that uh, by anyone. Uh, so uh, we may speak about uh, various meanings of black metal, its movement, its roots and so on, but uh, uh, really long years passed uh, since this gen, uh, since this gen appeared uh, in the history of the metal music. So uh, I think it evolved in so many ways that uh, the uh, term itself, black metal, uh, can be associated with very various things, uh, and uh, it's uh, really personal uh, what black metal does mean to one or another. Yeah. For me, black metal is uh, so. Uh, black metal is, is a gathering of, of the things that happen in the world, so it's a natural way to sp spit out what what happens around us, uh, to somehow express the nihilism uh, of ourselves, of the world, whatever. Uh, as you said, uh, black metal has a rich history, but also the history is uh, very controversial and uh, uh, very heavy. So, do you feel this as a burden, or do you feel like you are connected to the history of black metal? <coughs> I see uh, very bad things happening in the, on the black metal scenes today especially the situation like uh, happened today with our show. Uh, I remember like uh, in the uh, middle of 90s there was a completely different situation uh, when uh, uh, black metalers were calling each other posers, uh, they were riding their homes and uh, beating the shit out uh, one, of, one of each other. Uh, right now the situation turned out uh, about like uh, 180 degrees, it's completely opposite uh, reality right now. Uh, I think that uh, what uh, the things that black metal is uh, telling about uh, so uh, uh, very controversial themes, uh, very controversial things, and, uh, uh, and 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 all the stuff that is happening, all the bad things, and uh, and uh, the events that people do not like, do not like to talk about. Yeah, uh, so uh, black metal is trying to. Uh, get it to, to the to the daylight, yeah. Uh, just to show people that the reality is not uh, uh, it's not what people thinks, yeah. But uh, people are now being offended, and uh, they are trying to shut down the black metal bands that are uh, trying to uh, move this uh, journey forward and uh, keep it clean. Uh, so. Um, it's hard to say for this question. I think it's uh, the thing goes uh, in a uh, totally opposite way that it should, yeah. Especially in this environment, uh, I read about many bands that uh, have been shut down for uh, being a black metal band, yeah, because uh, it's really easy to put a false accusation on the band, uh, put the information to the internet that is actually everywhere right now, yeah, uh, and uh, then it's. Uh, this burden is staying with the band, yeah. Uh, so uh, this is something that will be that we as Ultra will be always against. Uh, uh, will be opposite to, to this uh, to this to this reality, and we'll be doing just what we want and what f what we think is right, yeah. Okay, uh, one last question uh, about uh, generous uh, future. There's always going to be those uh, big bands uh, with the symphonic black metal and so on and then there's the smaller bands. Uh, what do you think the future will hold for the smaller bands? Uh, there's of course uh, some bands that will uh, take advantage and uh, propagate the political messages and then there's uh, those old school like uh, bands that like Norsecore 90s. So, how do you see uh, that dynamic going to the future? 
I see more and more bands that are uh, returning to the roots of black metal. For example, I uh, recently uh, uh, there were plenty of new bands uh, in the Shadow Records, uh, like uh, Ultra Silvam or Third Eye Rapist. Uh, for me, these are the bands that are uh, pushing this movement forward. Yeah, they are keeping the roots and they are putting also something fresh to their music. Yeah, uh, it's very dynamic. It's uh, full of this. Uh, evil essence that is that is filling the whole black metal meaning yeah so i think that uh, the future is uh, for this kind of bands of course we uh we're still gonna have this uh, major bands uh, i don't know like uh, behemoth uh, dimmu borgi or any other bands that is making money on this music yeah but uh, this is really not my area of the interest uh, I'm a guy with a regular job uh, and uh, black metal is something that uh, uh, I'm doing uh, after hours, yeah? Uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, I do not sacrifice my private life uh, to this, what I'm doing, to, to the ultra, to the band, and especially to the to making music, yeah? Because uh, uh, being in the band uh, means that uh, you don't have money rather than you make money. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, I don't know what future holds for the other bands. I know what we want to do uh, as Ultra. Uh, the main priority is the uh, next album uh, that is supposed to be out in 2018. Uh, I think that it will uh, move Ultra on the next level, but I don't. Uh, I don't think about that in the terms of uh, I don't know uh, career or whatever you call it. Yeah, that we're gonna play bigger festivals or bigger tours and so on. Yeah. Uh, we never, we never thought that uh, after the debut album we're gonna uh, run the tour with Ulcerate, yeah. But uh, the guys in, uh, invited us for the tour, uh, and we are very glad about that because this is a big chance for us to show our music. Uh, but in terms of uh, making Ultra as a uh, bigger or major band, I think it's it's not a way for us. Uh, if I remember. I may add something. Uh, <coughs> he mentioned, uh, or the question he mentioned, uh, what's what directions could black metal take? And uh, black metal since '90s uh, has spread into so many branches that it's currently hard to predict what's what's going to happen with with the genre. But uh, I think, as as Martin said, it's it's crucial to stay true to what you do to to what you believe uh, if that is omitted uh, then probably that's not the future of black metal so if only only the bands that uh, that stay true to what they really want to do what they believe uh, they will go on uh, but of course uh, black metal has evolved uh, in so many ways that uh, I guess the 90s black metal is just past and uh, even though there are bands that are coming back to the roots uh, I see future in bands like Death by Omega Thank you very much guys and uh, good luck for the future Cheers mate, thank you <laughs>